welcome back to my channel, Uniquely Home. In today's video, we're going to be decorating the master bedroom in a coastal theme. Y'all know I love my neutral colors, but this week we're going to add pops of blues and greens. And it all started with a picture that I got from Hobby Lobby. And we're just going to try to bring out the colors that's in that picture, which is right here. But I'll show you closer in a few moments. Y'all, I just wanted to thank y'all so much for liking and subscribing and sharing it with your friends and for all the nice comments. This little channel has got over 20,000 views already and I'm so excited about that. I do want y'all to hit that subscribe button though. It is totally free to y'all and it helps me out so much. And in this week's video, I want you to leave me a comment and let me know where you're from. For 20,000 people to be watching, I want to know where you guys are from. I'm filming this on Saturday, the day before Easter Sunday, so I pray that tomorrow y'all get to spend it with your family and friends and have a very happy Easter. Let's get to it, y'all. We're going to start off this Saturday morning by getting some clean, fresh sheets to go on the bed. Nothing like some fresh sheets. I use Gain laundry detergent and I also use white vinegar as a fabric softener. It does not make your clothes smell anything like vinegar, it just makes them very soft. Now that we have those washing, let's get to cleaning this dirty room. Look at these dusty window seals. I'm just using a dry microfiber cloth just to dust these blinds. I really despise blinds, y'all, but you have to have some window coverings, and I just haven't changed them all out in my house yet. This sprayway glass cleaner has to be my favorite. It just does not leave any streaks behind.
Now that we vacuum and mop behind all the furniture, let's get it all put back where it belongs. This rug came from Walmart. It's an eight by 10 and it was very budget friendly. It was less than $100, but I will say it is very, very thin. If you want it just for the looks of a rug, then it's perfect. But if you want that soft, cushy feel under your feet, then this may not be the one. I also have the matching one that goes in our bathroom next to my tub, but that'll be a later video. All right, we've just about got it all clean. The floors are done. I did all the baseboards, the windows, and we're gonna get to decorating here soon. We're gonna start off with the picture that was the inspiration for this room. That's from Hobby Lobby. These little trees are also from Hobby Lobby. And I just put them in a basket and topped them with some moss. I love the little leather straps on these baskets and they're from Hobby Lobby as well. The art that's on the TV, this is just a regular smart TV. I just went to YouTube and typed in coastal art and I think this one plays for like three hours but you can find all kinds of art. You don't have to have a frame TV to get that look. just went in with some candlesticks that I got from a thrift store and painted and the pelican and these gold candlesticks are from Hobby Lobby adding in some cream colored twisted taper candles
to this dough bowl I'm just gonna add in some extra moss that I had from the trees and put some bowl filler And this is how the entertainment center turned out. Now that we got some fresh sheets, let's get them on the bed. That mattress cover, y'all, is the Beltair brand. It's from Brittany Vassour here on YouTube. You're probably familiar with her channel. And it is awesome. It's kind of cooling and it also adds some softness to the bed. These are my favorite pillows from Amazon. I like a flatter pillow. My husband kind of likes them thicker, so I use these with the satin pillowcases. And he uses the My Pillows. And I'm going to show you here how I kind of use the envelope method to close in the bottom of the pillowcases. Just pinch up the middle section and tuck it all in. It creates a nice little even envelope. These little blue pillows, y'all, I got the covers and the inserts from Goodwill for $4 a piece. I brought them home, washed the covers and the inserts. I just sprayed them down really, really well with Lysol and set them out in the sun. And they are like new. I got them for $4 each. That was an amazing price. The inserts are feather inserts, so they're very choppable, but they do make a mess. I don't know about y'all, but I struggled finding king size comforters that go down on the each sides of the bed. But this one I was able to find on Amazon. It's actually a duvet insert, but I just use it as a comforter and it's a 120 by 120 and it fits perfect. It's the muslin material, so it's very soft. I 
throw pillows is something I struggle with, y'all. You're going to see here that I change it out so many times, and actually it's different now than what it ends up being in the video. This throw is from Target. I love the texture that it adds to the bed. Here we're going to decorate my husband's nightstand. This stool is from Hobby Lobby. I'm just using it as a, as a riser. Y'all, I've had this thing for probably a year now, and I just realized the price tag's still on it. These large seagrass pieces I got from Facebook Marketplace. And these faux stems I got from Hobby Lobby. And to my side of the nightstand, I'm just adding a book with some candlesticks and a vase with some greenery. Moving on to the dresser, I have these hurricane candle holders that came from Belk. Just going to add in some sand. This stone piece I got from an antique store. It looks like someone used it as an ashtray at one time in the past. But I just brought it home, gave it a good scrub, and I just like that it adds a stone element. These prints I printed from Etsy and got the frames from Amazon. And these two pieces came from a vintage market in Macon, Georgia.
inspiration for your own spaces join me again next sunday at 3 p.m eastern standard time where we'll do it all over again and tomorrow is easter and i pray that y'all have a very very happy easter with your family don't forget to comment below and let me know where you are from i'm anxious to see thanks for joining me bye